Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever it is from around the world that you're joining me for another Moonshot. And today I wanted to talk to you about the image that you reflect to the world. Last night in a men's group that I mentor to, the group discussed this topic of authenticity and what prevents you from being authentic. And as universes won't to, I had intended actually to publish this Moonshot on the theme of Transparent integrity. Now, I expect that a number of you have used or have heard of a .csv file. In computer terms, it's a set of plain text data in a condensed format that is easy to integrate into almost any digital development, which is why website creators enjoy it and appreciate it. Yet its greatest advantage is that it enables simple portability of large amounts of information from one party to another, no matter what software either of them uses. Now, in similar fashion, every human being is a reflection of their own CSV file that they create from the database of the constructs, the standards and the values that they've elected to ascribe to themselves and therefore to project to others. You see, in like manner to a computer.csv file, your projection should reflect who you truly are as it can be readily imported and interpreted by any person of any language, any education or any culture. So if you have conflicting images presented, then it's certainly a quick way to discredit your integrity and to confuse your community on which version is the genuine you. Three years ago, I published an article in LinkedIn that was titled Mirror Mirror. And I discussed the essence of how to be vigilant in checking how the world views you. And of course, revealed some keys on the value of polishing and sustaining your authenticity. You know, in today's even more disrupted environment, this is even more especially relevant since your image is constantly being reviewed openly on social platforms. So let me share some gems on how to consistently refine that image that you want to define as being the ideal you. So let's look at the three elements quickly, and then I'll share a task for you to practice as you move forward. First, what are constructs? Now, as the building blocks for your image, these are your what, your patterns, the models, the inputs, the messages that we have allowed to influence us. And I say allow because no one or thing can make you think, feel, believe or act on anything unless you allow it. And just as Lego blocks are plentiful in their shapes and sizes and colors and applications, you choose the pieces that you want to use for your life. Second is your standards. Now these are the accepted levels of normality that we assign to our thoughts, words and actions, which in turn then define our habits, our protocols, our practices of our individual lives or even of an organization that you might control. And via the system of measures, you will demonstrate how you conduct yourself in all and any situation. And third is your values. Now as the strategic foundation for the other two, these are the personally revered behavior characteristics and attributes that you rank highest for you. In my vision mapping, these are the compass by which you steer your life journey and align yourself to your why and your purpose for your being. The fabulous thing is that since none of us are truly a finished product or have realized divine fulfillment, you can replace any of these elemental components, even in their minutia, at any time with another piece that better suits what you want to build or portray as often as you want and as many times as you want 
as you move on your path to creating your ideal you. There's no uniqueness in being the reflection of somebody else's life or their CSV file. Your life only has meaning through living your own purpose as you clearly refine those constructs, standards and values that you genuinely seek to portray as being true. And as a tool to help you hone your reflection, I encourage you to use the following questions in an exercise to clarify your CSV format and magnify the truth of your image to the world. So the first is, what do you limit yourself to in your thoughts, words, and actions? What do you limit yourself to in your thoughts, words, and actions? Second is, what do you choose to accept that's primarily the influence of others? What do you choose to accept that's primarily the influence of others? And third, what are you not willing to tolerate anymore and how will you decide to change? What are you not willing to tolerate anymore and will decide to change? Rigorous tests on human capacity have indicated that mankind generally operates only at about 40% of their ability. And despite what most of us feel is our maximum, we're only working to a perceived level. So the question for you now is, are you willing to discover what you truly can achieve and who you truly want to portray? And since a rising tide lifts all boats and studies refer to our level of conduct and performance, assimilating the five or six closest people to us. Think carefully on who you can introduce to your close circle who will compel you to elevate your intentions and manifest your potential. And if you feel that you benefit from a quick review on streamlining your CSV profile with including me in that circle, then shoot me a message with CSV me, please. Let's discover the genuine you that you want the world to recognize without doubt, unfiltered, genuine, unafraid, and unique. And as you do this, as always, live, love, and serve.